Morning everybody. Lovely Bryce Canyon, Utah. Um, nice and crisp in the mornings. Wow. I think it dipped minus 11. Um, but warming up nicely um, during the day. Ah, oh, it's God's country. Clear blue skies and all of that. Anyway, enough about uh, the travel log. Um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is looking extremely perky. It's in what's called an ascending ascending wedge. It also has what we call a kind of a, a relative of HVF um, structure in it. I think there is a potential possibility that we go, although you are already saying, well, it's near all-time highs, it's at all-time highs, that we go into a bit of a melt-up state. A melt-up state. That's a highly, highly high volatility expansive to the upside move um, in bitcoin the boss so uh, when that happens the alts get unfortunately slightly hammered and squeezed and bitcoin is dominance uh, and it'll dominance will swing on the market cap again if it does melt up however remember one thing with melt ups we can't tell how long or how far we could go for a $25,000 Christmas Day um, charge, or we could go for one and a half days and pick up another $500 or $1,000 and then have a big shooting star and then have a subsequent smashdown. Um, any of those scenarios, of course, which are quite diverse, could occur. Often when you get melt-ups, often when you get melt-ups, they are the final step between a bit of a pause and uh, a bit of a slap down uh, and then a new consolidation phase with sell-offs etc etc so be careful if you then rush in and charge now you don't know how long or how far but for those that are already in it could get really good to the upside and the numbers could change quite quickly if we do go melt up so rising wedges typically in traditional technical analysis are meant to break down um, however, we treat in HVF method rising wedges as more just a case of a squeeze. In other words, it's the squeeze that comes on. And when you get a squeeze, you usually get an impulsive move. And it's not necessarily in the direction that traditional technical analysis assumes, particularly in cryptos, particularly with Bitcoin. In other words, you get an ascending squeeze. That is the buying already coming in. And then you get an even bigger wall of money that comes. That's what, what drive it up. It doesn't have to be too much buying that knocks itself out and then has a capitulative sell down. You can first have the melt up out the top. We teach you a little bit about this in far greater detail um, on the Trading Metamorphosis program um, when we do this. I'm having to swap hands because it's a little bit chilly. Uh, so sorry if you're getting fingers in the way there. So just watch out on your Bitcoin. I think it could get interesting, it could get impulsive, it's already, uh, it's already at all-time highs, but I think the structure is in uh, an ascending wedge where there's a squeeze and that means more impulsive and mono-directional. Mono-directional means the volatility isn't chop, it is just whoosh, and I think it's going to be first to the upside, and we can't tell because there's no natural way of utilizing geometry, how far that may be. So it could be a real Christmas Day run for the line, um, which could take the whole of December. And, you know, we could see some crazy numbers, which is the, the, the uber bullish view. It could be um, a short pump um, for today and then a, a big sell off, um, which would be probably the most cautious view and it can be all points in between so how you choose to manage that is going to be your call um, in the community we know what we're doing um, we'll speak to you all soon um, and enjoy your day